Good morning everyone. I just got back from the gym and I just realized that since today is Tuesday it is a recycling day and I haven't put our recycling out so I'm going to do that really quickly before I get breakfast. Honestly the recycling system kind of pisses me off here because it's really confusing and it's only every other week and all the recycling has to be in blue garbage bags because we don't have garbage bins. I don't know, I just think it's really stupid and Oakland should definitely try to make recycling easier for people because it's important, you know? Let's go do that. Also, I forgot to take the recycling out last time, so we kind of have a lot. So before anyone says anything, neither of my roommates are vegan, so the milk cartons and honey nut Cheerios were obviously not mine. Okay, so I'm currently making my breakfast right now. I decided I'm going to be making banana ice cream with cinnamon and ginger and topping it with some frozen fig and cherry jam. I already blended my ginger and then I'm going to be chopping up my bananas on here. I have a frozen fig, it's gigantic, it's thawing. And then this is the cherry jam that I'm going to use. It's just fruit, which is cool, I guess. Oh, and also I quickly wanted to mention that while I'm making my banana ice cream every day, I always take my vitamin. I don't take a multivitamin. You can get all the vitamins you need from plants, except for B12. So this is the only one I take. Honestly, I probably wouldn't recommend this brand. I just got it because it was cheap at the grocery store. But when I run out of this, I'm going to be buying a liquid or sublingual dosage because that absorbs into the body more effectively. And then also I've been taking a tablespoon of blackstrap molasses every day because it helps with strengthening your hair and nails and it's a good source of potassium iron and phosphorus stuff like that I guess I personally don't think it tastes that bad some people like freak out when they take it by itself but I like bitter things so yeah okay and here's the finished product for Instagram decided to go with a red background today to accentuate the cherry jam and I'm adding more granola than this, obviously, but it didn't look good for the photo. It's right here. So I'm going to go eat this and respond to some YouTube comments and answer some Tumblr questions. So fun fact, if you guys didn't know, I recently made a Tumblr so I'd be able to answer your questions and have them be posted publicly so maybe they would be able to help other people too. Um, the link is in the description, so check it out if you want to ask me something. Okay, this is starting to melt though, so I need to move ASAP. Guys, guess what? My new camera came! I'm so excited. I'm gonna open it right now. This is where we cue the choirs of heavenly angels. Oh, look how pretty it is. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to use it and to film videos for you guys, but I will say this camera was really expensive and I'm going to be picking up extra shifts at work and I already picked up some extra shifts at work to pay it off. So, yeah. Okay, now that I actually have my new camera, I feel okay enough to talk about how I destroyed my old one. It's actually kind of funny, and the thing is, when I broke it, I was really upset, but at the same time, I couldn't stop laughing. So I was planning to vlog for the day, and I was filming myself making my oatmeal, and I put the oats in the bowl, and I poured the water on top, and I turn around for half of a second, I swear, and I just hear a plop. And my camera, which was on the tripod, just literally fell into the bowl. It was actually on and recording and I have the footage of its last few moments so I'll insert it here just because I do think it is funny. I was thinking about buying a nicer camera eventually anyways so I was like well maybe this is the universe telling me I just need to do it sooner. But anyways on another note I am cooking my lunch right now but while that cooks I'm actually going to be making some raw brownie bites. One of my clubs is having a meeting later tonight and it's going to be sort of a potluck and we're all bringing our own foods. I'm not really sure how much vegan food there's going to be but I'll have these and I think someone's bringing like avocado toast or something so I'm definitely going to hit that up. But yeah, I'll show you guys what they look like when I am finished. Okay guys, these are the brownie bites. I just found the recipe online. I'll link it below. It's from Detoxinista. It's a food blog. I followed the recipe, but then I just rolled them in a mix of chia seeds, coconut sugar, and some more cacao powder. And they're like super fudgy. Here, I tried one. See? They look so good. And this is lunch. I just have some brown basmati rice that I cooked. And this is a mix of basically a bunch of vegetables I had in the fridge. There's some, there's some sweet potato, chopped carrot, zucchini, corn, black eyed peas, and I cooked it in some canned tomatoes with some onion, garlic, and dried basil. 
and it came out really good. This is actually leftovers. I just reheated it. But I actually have class at 1 and I'm already running late so I'm just going to throw it in a Tupperware really quick and eat it during class. I really got to go. I don't know what's wrong with me. I used to be the most punctual and on time person but recently I've just been running around everywhere and I'm literally like sprint walking to class right now. Oh well. class today and it goes until 6 and then I'm going to go home and cook myself some dinner. Okay guys I'm back home and currently in the process of cooking dinner. I just cooked this um, chickpea pasta and right now I am cooking my vegetables are some zucchini, carrot, and spinach and after those cook down I'm going to be adding the pasta back in and I'm just going to use this as a sauce. It's a sun-dried tomato vinaigrette because I need to use it up. And here's the final product. I added some nutritional yeast on top too because nutritional yeast is always necessary with pasta. Okay, I just finished dinner. I'm going to drink this homemade kombucha. Now I'm just going to be working on some homework. Okay, I'm about to head off to my meeting slash potluck thing. I have my brownie bites in my purse and I'm going to be bringing some tea with me just because for some reason I feel kind of cold. It's like a chai style tea with cinnamon, ginger, and cloves and it's caffeine free because I personally don't drink caffeine. And yeah, I'll show you guys what I eat there. Okay guys, I am back from my meeting and as you could tell, there was a lot of good food there, mostly avocado toast, but yeah, my stomach is very happy and I got ready for bed and I'm just going to go to sleep now. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.